get truly <coughs> comfortable playing in the snow? What do you mean? I mean, growing up, I mean, you, you grow up in Northeast Ohio, so snow is... Oh, you, the you snow, ever, the cold? <laughs> yeah. Ever, uh, yeah, I'm used to it. I, I like it. I like playing here. I like the weather. I like everything about Cleveland, so... Yeah, I'm used to it, to answer your question. Denzel, when you look at uh, uh, Josh Allen, what stands out to you? Uh, definitely tall in stature. Uh, big quarterback, a stand in the pocket, make all the throws, got a strong arm, um, gets his playmakers the ball. Uh, those are good balls. I mean, he's a playmaker for those guys. It goes, uh, offense goes through him. How do you prepare for a game, forecast being what it is, mm -hmm. but you really don't know what the conditions are going to be? Obviously, the weather is going to affect what both teams try to do. Mm -hmm. so just how do you prepare physically and mentally for that type of a matchup? Yeah, I think we got a lot of practice here in Cleveland with different conditions and the weather. So, I mean, whatever the conditions are, whether that's snowing or wind blowing hard, I think we'll be ready. Um, I don't know. Some guys wear different things or whatever. So whatever you feel comfortable with, but I think we'll be good, though. I know you didn't get the win, but how do you feel like personally you played last week and how did you come out of it physically? Um, I feel that I didn't do enough to help the team win. So um, I got to go back and, and see what I could do to uh, help take the ball away, get takeaways, and um, just make plays for this team to put us in a better position to win the game. Oh, definitely, definitely. You guys already know what type of quarterback he is, so I'm um, definitely excited getting him back and uh, looking forward to seeing him out there today and uh, getting him out there for the game. So much is made of like, the transition going from Jacoby, who really has established himself mm -hmm. as a leader for this team. Um, do, you, do you guys just kind of approach it as if it's, you know, like Deshaun's coming back from an injury, something like that? Is that how you guys view it? Um, I think those are uh, two great quarterbacks. Jacoby, he's a he's a number one quarterback. I don't think there are any backups. I wouldn't consider Jacoby a backup. He's he's still our quarterback. Deshaun is our quarterback, and uh, whoever's out there, I think is going to uh, give us our best chances of winning. Um, whoever's out there, whether that's Jacoby or Deshaun, so we're standing behind both those guys and uh, looking forward to the, seeing them both out there, both playing though. How do their leadership styles differ? I know you haven't necessarily you don't work on the field with Deshaun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, looking forward to getting uh, Deshaun out there and seeing more so. But, um, I mean, they're both leaders for our team and uh, guys that we rally behind. And um, and looking forward to getting some more wins behind those guys. What do you guys have, uh, have to do to kind of piece it together more consistently? Mm -hmm. You've seen glimpses of it this season. Yeah. The fact of the matter is the guys are three and six. Mm -hmm. It just hasn't really come into focus. So yeah. what has to happen, do you think, for you guys to kind of get the – Train rolling down. Mm, I think we have to play more complimentary ball. I think that sometimes offense may be going, doing good and we may be struggling on defense or defense doing well, offense may struggle. So just trying to put everything, all the phases together, special teams, uh, offense and defense, and playing together and uh, definitely making more plays on the back end, uh, I think will uh, help get us on the right track. Deshaun's been in the building for, for a couple of weeks now. What has he kind of brought to you know, brought in those meetings to the meetings and just mm -hmm. to to the to the team as a whole, just mm -hmm. being back in the in the building. Yeah, well, I'm not in the uh, offensive meeting, so but um, like I say, he, he's a great player. We're looking forward to getting him getting him on the field, getting him out there, and uh, helping this team out. Is that what's the coldest slash snowiest game you played? Say it again. Snow coldest slash snowiest game you played. It, it's been so many. I couldn't even uh, just pick one. Going back from college and everything. So I played in a lot of cold games, a lot of snow games. So yeah, I, I couldn't uh, just pick one right now. Do you remember the 07 Blizzard game between these two teams? Uh, I don't. If I've if I seen him anybody, yeah, I don't remember off the top of my head though, no. Denzel, there's been some talk about some stadiums having to change their turf mm -hmm. based on injuries and what have you. Um, is it real noticeable? I know you're a young guy, but is, mm -hmm. is there a different difference in your I believe so. Uh, just what it does to your knees and your legs and how you feel coming off the field. And um, I think I think it is best to have a grass field and play on a grass field. And so um, looking forward to maybe getting that change in the future. But uh, yeah, I think you definitely notice it, whether playing on grass or playing on turf, though. Hey, what about Stephon Diggs? What do you see out 
Yeah, he, he's a playmaker, get, gets a lot of targets uh, for that team. Uh, Josh Allen, he trusts him to just uh, throw on the ball regardless of if he's covered or not. Um, real shifty guy, good hands. He's, he's, he's a playmaker for that guy, for that team. So he's a good player. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they got a they got a good offense, so uh, it goes through Josh Allen, and he got playmakers to get on the ball, and that could uh, make plays and make catches. So we got to go in and take care of our job and find a way to get a win. And so, if you guys knew that you would shut down Waddle and Tyreek Hill like you did last year, last week, but still give up 39 points, is mm -hmm. that a head scratcher or? Yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we. Like I said, we just got to play complementary ball all phases, and whether that's um, the back end and the D line or offense and defense, we just got to all play together. So, I mean, it's the greatest team sport, and we just got to do what we can to all work together to get on the same page and uh, execute and minimize scores or yardage. What's the challenge going up against a quarterback like Josh Allen? He's just seems to be one of those guys. You think mm -hmm. you got him down on the mat, and he's, mm -hmm. he's done, and he just finds a way to get up and keep coming at you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just for us on the back end, I mean, we just got to stay in our coverage. He got a big arm where he can make all the throws on the field. So whether that's plastering and it's a little longer play and guys are running deep, we just got to stay tight in our coverage and uh, try to find a way to eliminate those those extra plays in a sense. Appreciate it. Yep. Sorry, Josh will take chances. Mm -hmm. right? He's not afraid to take risks. Do you guys need to be aware of that and try and take advantage of some of those opportunities? Uh, opportunities of what? Like, like, Josh will take risks and take mm -hmm. chances. And like just throwing it up, you're saying? Yeah, like right. Yeah. Like yeah, like I said, we just got to do a good job of staying tight in coverage. Uh, just like if he's extending a play and, and guys start running around the field, just plastering our coverage and uh, just staying tight.